In this anxiety, I am not shaking like a leaf the way everyone assumes that the anxious do. I am shaking like a scorched San Francisco in April 1906. The naive say my disorder is all in my head. I invite them to pay for an x-ray across my body so they will be able to see the fallen telephone poles lodged between my windpipes and the rubble in my small intestines that bloody feet try to walk through barefoot. It was last year that I kissed a boy while in the middle of having a panic attack. Our mouths met with mindful of stained glass that cracked across his teeth like a steel baseball bat. When he looks at me now, all he sees is a girl that has been stuffed with decay. But since my diagnosis, my body, it's become a lake with scattered inhales and interrupted exhales swimming along my bones in a dream last night. A man was in a rowboat that glided across the tidal pools of my belly. He tried to fish my breathing out with just a bent up nail and some wire when I began to drown within myself. My rapid pulse pulling me down, he threw a paper bag at me, thinking that its frail buildup would help me gain an average heartbeat again. But these days, I don't hear my heart beating. All I hear are teeth chattering, not in my mouth. I think a jaw unhinged itself over all of those muscles and tissues when I hear those teeth chattering those molars clicking, those incisors biting, I realize I don't want to be a lake anymore. I don't want to be broken glass, shattered across the pavement, shattered glass that only rises during earthquakes. So here I stand, promising a new beginning. This is a communion of sorts right in front of you. Blessed be me, blessed be this anxiety disorder that has given me pain, but also a lot of ironic strength. Blessed be this body, the body I used to call war ground, the body I now call armor. Blessed be the telephone poles in my throat and the rubble in my guts, I will get to you soon. Blessed be this promise of change. Blessed be me, blessed be me. Woo!